I think that flow now is just coming to me as you're saying that when you're, you know, taking that third shot. Mm. The only reason, you know, when you get in your own head. Right. Um, and you're thinking about what you're thinking, that's when you're in trouble. Uh, yeah. You know, when you're, when you're not thinking, when you're having zero thoughts and you're yeah. just out there playing um, and that shot is just automatic. We, you don't let the past creep into, um, mm-hmm. you know, what you what you can accomplish in the moment. And that's – I have all these – one of the – probably the greatest coach I've ever played for, Alex Grinch. I keep bringing him up. And uh, he, he would always say biography does not equal destiny. So whatever happened mm. in the past has nothing to do with right now, has nothing to do with the future. Um, play the next play, you know. Just go out there and um, don't think, react. Those are all, yeah. like – all five of those little things I just said are like all Grinchy. No, bro, from that's life. and just that's so it, man. yeah, so relevant and um, so yeah. I think uh, I think that's a that's a good point. Once you're once you're scared to take that third shot, or you're even, not even scared, but thinking about yeah, Why should I take this shot? It, it is fear based though. It's like a what if, right? Fear is like what if exactly. Oh, what if I go in there and this guy trucks me? Right. Okay, you're already a step behind. Right. You don't believe in yourself. Right. Why'd you lift all those weights? Exactly. You know what I mean? And that's that's like sports, if it boxes you into that. That's why I kind of asked you, like, if you felt boxed in by this identity that you had growing up. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like if sports is making you more afraid or more tight, yeah. it's like, why are you playing? Right. You're playing a game to be more released exactly. and have more fun. Um, yeah, and there's a there's another – single play that comes to mind it wasn't a crazy extravagant play or anything but it was a turning point for me i think Mm. and kickoff return front line is the hardest position in football you're running backwards Mm -hmm. turning around and there's 200 pound six foot three dudes ready running full speed (laughs) at you and you just are supposed to stand there and basically catch them okay so we're playing oregon in autzen stadium i'm a true freshman um and uh, I'm in the front line, and the guy I'm supposed to block is way bigger than me. <laughs> and I'm kind of, you know, just having that moment of, oh, shit, like, this, guy is, <laughs> this guy is, uh, he's, he's coming down to, to put a hurting on me. But, you know, you have to, it's a decision. At the end of the day, it's a decision. You can either decide, even if you don't decide, there's some quote, for even if you don't decide, you still have made a choice. Or I think that's in a rush song, mm. actually. Um, so even if you don't decide to do whatever you're going to do or go for it, you know, um, you still made a choice. Mm. So if you half ass it, it's the same as not doing it at all. So yeah, I had a split second in my mind where I was sitting there, a true freshman in Austin stadium, loud as hell. And I'm like, man, this is, this is crazy. This guy's pretty big. Um, I, I'm in my mind, I'm still transitioning out of being a quarterback, uh, yeah. But no, in that in that moment, I was like, you know what? No, th- I'm I'm doing this. You know, this is my guy. I'm gonna block his ass. So I do my thing, flipping tune. Um, he's running straight at me, big dude. And I just remember in my mind, like making up my mind, I'm gonna pop this dude and <laughs> block his ass to the ground. Yeah. Um, I didn't like pancake him or anything, but I just boom hit him. He was way bigger than me, and I stunned him. And I kind of shocked myself when I hit him so hard, and I blocked him the whole play. Did my job. And I was like, wow, that wasn't actually that hard. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, I just did my job. I trusted my technique, trusted my training, trusted my lifting and everything I put in. And uh, I'm capable. I'm more than capable. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that was just a realiz- realization point for me of it's you always just have a decision to make, whether mm-hmm. you do it or you don't do it. 